Hello everyone, and welcome to the MLOps workshop. The goal of this workshop is to teach you how to serve machine learning models in a production environment. My name is Brennan McGivern. I'm currently working as a machine learning engineer at a startup in Toronto, and prior to this role, I spent three years working as a software engineer in the enterprise space. For this workshop, we will be covering three main areas, model packaging, containerization, and model inference. During the model packaging section, we will discuss serializing models using Python's pickle format and open source tools like MLflow and ONNX. We will see why it's important to have a standard format for packaging machine learning models so that they can be used in a variety of downstream pipelines. During the containerization section, we will be learning all about Docker. Docker containers are ubiquitous in the tech industry today, and it's no surprise that they show up in machine learning as well. We will introduce the concept of Docker images and containers, explain why we should use them and what containerizing a model looks like. During the model inference section, we will discuss techniques for serving models. We will introduce technologies such as Flask, GUnicorn, Nginx, clusters, and managed services from various cloud providers. While the previous three sections will cover the bulk of the workshop, we will also be discussing model training, scalability, monitoring and logging, and managing infrastructure in a cloud agnostic way by utilizing infrastructure as code platforms like Terraform. I'll end by saying that MLOps is hard. It's hard because it's such a new and rapidly evolving area, and there just isn't a ton of information readily available on how to do it right. If you try Googling how to deploy a machine learning model in production, you'll find a big list of different approaches and methodologies for doing so. Some resources will seem to provide a quick and easy solution, but these will often be expensive and lead to some form of vendor lock-in. Another resource might walk you through the process of serving a model on your local computer, but won't explain how this translates to the cloud. At the end of the day, production ML pipelines can be complicated and consist of a lot of moving pieces. What I hope to accomplish in this workshop is to help you connect these pieces together.